about music you see, so stick with me, and be all that you can be, and join me on a journey through music theory. Hi, I'm Mr. B, and today we're going to learn about rest types. So often when I'm teaching my students about rests, I'll tell them how many beats a rest gets, and they look at me like I'm crazy. They say, Mr. B, it's a rest. It doesn't have any sound. How can it have beats? Ah, but they do have beats because you have to fill up the time in music even if it's silence. So rests in music definitely have beats. Today we're going to learn the different types of rests and how many beats they get. So let's get started. Hi again, I'm Mr. B, and today we're learning about rest types. So before we learn about rest types, make sure you've looked at the lesson about note types, and this will make more sense to you. So in the lesson about note types, we had different notes. For example, we had a quarter note, which was one beat. We had a half note, which was two beats. We had a whole note, which was four beats. We had a dotted half note, which was three beats. And sometimes you have two eighth notes, which added up also makes one beat because they are half each. Now each of these notes have a corresponding rest to go with it. So let's get started on the rests. First, we'll learn about a quarter rest. A quarter rest kind of looks like a squiggly line, and here's how you draw it. Zig, zag, zig, curl, zig, zag, zig, curl, zig, zag, zig, curl, zig, zag, zig, curl. I should make a song about that. Anyway, a quarter rest takes up the same amount of space as a quarter note. Do you remember how many beats a quarter note gets? If you said one beat, you are correct. So each quarter rest gets one beat. Let me show you how that will work in a piece of music. If we have quarter note, quarter rest, quarter note, quarter rest. This is a rhythm that we could do with quarter notes and quarter rests. In this example, you would play a note on beat one and you would rest for beat two. That's why I put it in parentheses, because you're not going to hear anything during that beat. And on beat three, we play a quarter note, and on beat four, we rest. So in this example, you'll hear sounds on beat one and three, and you'll hear silence on beat two and four kind of sounds like this. Did you hear those rests? The spaces in between the note. One, rest. One, rest. That's how rests work in music. Let's try a different rest. Next we'll learn about half rests. If you remember from the note lesson, a half note gets how many beats? If you said two, you're correct. Here's what a half rest looks like. A half rest looks like a little brick coming up from one of the lines of the staff. I like to say it looks like a hat. Look, guy's wearing a hat. Hi, I'm wearing a hat. See how a half rest looks like a hat? Remember that half rests get two beats each. So far, we've learned about a quarter rest and a half rest.
Next, we'll learn about a whole rest. If you remember your notes, how many beats does a whole note get? Remember, a whole note is the one that just looks like an oval. If you remember that a whole note gets four beats, you're correct. So when you come to a whole rest, you're going to need a lot of patience to wait four beats of rest. Now a whole rest looks very similar to a half rest, but it has one difference. Can you tell what the difference is? The difference is that the brick part of the rest is hanging down below one of the lines instead of up like the hat. So this one doesn't look like a hat, but I have a story about what this looks like. Let me move it down so I can make a better story. So a, a whole rest hangs down beneath the line. To remember that that's a whole rest, you can imagine a guy walking along on this line, and he walks along, and uh-oh, he falls into the hole rest. Get it? He fell into a hole, so it's a hole rest. Remember that hole rests get four beats. Next, we'll talk about a dotted half rest. We already learned about the half rest. It's the one that kind of looks like a hat. But sometimes the rests have dots on them as well. If you find a dot next to a half rest, do you remember how many beats a dotted half note gets? If you said three, you're correct. A dotted half rest would also get three beats. And it still kind of looks like a hat with the dot next to it. And our last rest for the day will be an eighth rest. Now one note about eighth notes before we go on. You're probably used to seeing eighth notes looking like this. This is actually two eighth notes, but if you had a single eighth note, it would have a flag on it. That's a little important when you're thinking about the eighth rest. To draw an eighth rest, you put a little dot and you go up and down. A little dot, up and down and an eighth rest gets a half of a beat each. All right, let's review. Here is a quarter rest. Do you remember how many beats the quarter rest gets? One beat. Next, we have a half rest. Do you remember how many beats a half rest gets? Two beats. And it still looks like a hat. Next, let's do a dotted half rest. Do you remember how many beats a dotted half rest gets? Three beats. And again, it looks like a hat with a dot. And 
The next rest, whoops, I made a mistake. The next rest hangs down from the line, and we're going to call that a whole rest. Do you remember how many beats a whole rest gets? Four beats. And remember the story about the guy walking along and he falls into the whole rest. And let's review the eighth rest. Remember an eighth rest looks like a circle or a dot. You go up and down. Do you remember how many beats an eighth rest gets? This one's a little tricky. It's actually half of a beat. One more important message about rests. Normally when I tell my students, okay, go compose a song, and I give them a cool program to do it on, like Google Chrome Song Maker, here's what they do. Oh, hi, I'm Mr. B student, and I'm gonna drive him crazy because this is what I do to make songs. <laughs> But wait, there's more. And then they come up to me and say, hey, Mr. B, I made a really cool song. Do you want to hear it? And I say, sure. And then they press play. And then if I had hair, I would pull it all out. Now here's what music will sound like with actual space and rests involved. So you'll notice all of this white stuff here is called space and look at all of these rests these notes are not playing and that actually makes the music sound better when you have space and rest in it because that makes the notes stand out more thanks for watching my video about rest types Bye. I'm Mr. B. If you like what you see, please subscribe to me.